and welcome back to another video! Oh, here we go. Nintendo Direct! 9-4-2019. Well, it should be 4-9-2019, but... Bullying, so... Paladins. I don't know, Overwatch, sorry. Yeah! That's what I was thinking, Overwatch on Switch and not Tracer in Smash. Mind you, Tracer could still be in Smash. That is actually quite cool. Gyro controls are always a plus. Glorious. Available the 10th of the 15th of the 19th, so that's the 15th of the 10th month. October. That's the day after my birthday! And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to Yeah, because my birthday is October 14th. Get ready for that birthday live stream. Please take a look. Ouija Mansion 3. Weedy time. Weedy. Ah. Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, and booby traps. Oh, boo! Be traps. Oh. That is creative. Screen park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle yeah. it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Luigi versus Gooigi. Gigi? Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. Get a load of this new ah. Kirby game. The combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take up quests in town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Free to start. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy. Make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless, or even play online. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. Okay. It's free to start too. I'm going to have to take a look at that at some point, aren't I? This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. Ah. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, ah. Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to choose your hmm. character's appearance and abilities. 
Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Yeah. Okay. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 24th. 2020. Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Obergen vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. Is that a real thing? An insurance investigator that happened. In India Company. You must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time. Well, obviously, the, that bit's not true, but is that, is that a ship a real ship thing? I don't know. Is this based on real things? Explore the ship. Observe the situation. And record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, Tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives. Okay. To be honest, when I saw that logo, I thought I was thinking of like a uh, Game Boy game. There's a small town out there with a big secret. Oh, town! Finally. Never leave town. Little town hero. By the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. Mm -hmm. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. Huh. And that is quite interesting. All the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Whoa. Little Town Hero will make a stand. What? No switch October 16th. What? You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. What? What? <gasps> oh! Come on, come on, come on. Banjo and Kazooie. And the release date is today. Today! Yes! Nintendo Direct will broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Featuring the game's director, Masahiro. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not getting any sleep tonight! Oh! New fighter revealed! Come on, baby! Who do we have? Oh, we're going back through Nintendo history. Turn it back the clock. Oh, wow. Oh, any SNES. Oh, the Neo Geo. SNK. Yeah, I can't. Uh, don't be late, S. <laughs> Dead. Yep.
Is that uh, letter like magically enchanted so that only the right character can uh, get it? Come on, who from SNK? Of course! Terry! Now in development! Not surprising! November 2019. So, Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That, that is cool. Is Can there really be only one left? A special announcement! More DLC fighters now in development! What? What? Isn't over yet. So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. What? Ooh. Awaken the windfish and it'll be you know. the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast uh. approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. And encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, <laughs> that's a Kirby. Escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all new chamber dungeon. You can place chambers yeah. turned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Okay. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. And save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo wow. player featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That's cool. That way, your friends can play them. But can we share them online? Wait, was that a new Zelda, amiibo? Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. Cool. You know the heroes ah. Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest the version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character focused stories. The day the game launches. Free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack. What? Including consumable items, what? more equipment that can change what? the appearance of party members. What? An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S. Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo. Another free demo for Free to Play Friday won't, that won't be coming out this month because I've already pre-recorded all of this month's Free to Play Fridays. Fuck. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Uh. Then say hello to Tokyo. What? The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths. What? And the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place in modern day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa. What? Which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. What? You'll face off against this threat as up and comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another what? dimension. What? Together, you'll wage deep turn based battles. What the? Blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new I have no idea what any of this is. To the characters joining you in battle for the first I am not a Fire Emblem guy or. Whatever the heck any of that is, guy. I've got so many series I need to finish, even get into and f then finish. <laughs> I can't keep it all. What is this? 
2019. It all begins again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Or a mixture of the two. Never even out of the first one. So... Now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop as Deadly Premonition Origins. Of later today, okay. Thank you, D Nintendo Direct, for giving me that option. Never even heard of the first one again. I I'd probably get crucified with all the games I've not heard, let alone even played. There's just so many games coming to the Switch, I can't possibly keep up with them all. If I play Nintendo Switch games for every minute of the day, for the rest of my life, I probably couldn't keep up with it. Like seriously, games are coming out for, for the Switch faster than I can, faster than anyone can play them. Well, faster than any one person can play them. If I have a previous knowledge of how to speed run every game. I really need to drink. And now for a message from Bethesda. Oh Christ, Bethesda. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Please don't be fall off 76. Spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year Oh, Doom 64. Anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. I don't think it was released on anything after the N64 until now. Okay. That looks cool. That looks cool. Ooh. Okay. How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Oh fuck off. A scenic land. Fucking Maractus. Uh get a uh, Oh leafy on Dictrio. Fuck off. Jesus, that's a big EV. Four features, yay! First, customizing your look. Yay! I love doing X and Y. Never really got back into it in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Including outerwear and gloves. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. 
or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. Oh, you oh it's a jiller. That's in it. Second, Pokemon Camp. Oh, this is your journey through the Gala region. You can camp any time at Pokemon Camp. Okay. I'm keeping an eye out for ones. You can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them, Mimikyu! Proven battle. Oh, Mimikyu's a kid. In the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Huh. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon okay. and hang out with up to three other players. I'm just seeing if there's any Pokemon that I haven't seen yet in this game. With oh, fuck off. Why them? Um, Third, curry on rice. Ew. Pokemon camp is also a great place I don't like curry. Very popular in the Gala region. I don't know curry is like one of the most British foods. Other than fish and chips. Oh no, just not for me. Not to mention the heart you put into it. Hmm. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. What the fuck is that? What's that Pokemon doing here? And four, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the gallery. Oh, Krogan's in, yay! Normally, it makes a huh. home for itself by hiding amongst tableware, hotels, and restaurants. Okay. The body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. Okay. Even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. There's literally a tea Pokemon. Ha <laughs> ha! Called Weak Armor. Yeah. Next, another new Pokemon what? called Cramorant. What? This flying and water type Pokemon has won a huge appetite. It looks like a dodo. It's like a mix between a dodo and a pelipper. Oh! What? What? Okay, that's cool. That's funny. It's a bit. It's a mix of funny and cool. Aww. Oh, I made me kill. And I'm getting both of them. I hope this is still recording. Shit. If it's not, I'm gonna be pissed. Shut up and take my money. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. Snaz, 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 snaz. Snaz. Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Please don't raise the price. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. Hey, yes, there, bro. Let's acknowledge I exists. That's Star Fox. What the heck is that? What? What? You can face off or team up with a local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, or even play together online. Oh, that looks adorable. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Thank you. Here are the first games we play. Whoa, that is a lot of games on launch. Yeah. Twenty of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Okay. Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. Yeah. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them. Oh, wait, he's got a um control in his pocket. Oh. You noticed this, did you? Yes, I did. To recapture the original feel of these games. We will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online Exclusive Controller huh. as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo okay. Switch Okay. This Super NES style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Twenty nine ninety nine. That is good. For the latest information I mean, they ca it costs like 50 for the NES ones. It be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well... Let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. They didn't raise a price, did they? Oh, wait, hey, Tetris 99 version 2.0. Oh. Nintendo Switch Online members, the large scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 
Okay. Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Whoa, that is cool. I'm never ever going to be able to do that. Okay. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet. Oh my god, I love that! We're tossing in a vast array of new player icons too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. And uh, Wow. Oh, uh, why have I not already gone? The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. Okay. Version, including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 6th. Okay. I'm gonna get that. Oh, yeah, I saw a trailer for this on uh, the news. Bit. Yeah. 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 Skateboarding. Yeah. Rugby sevens. Sport climbing. Badminton. Gymnastics. Where's the um? Esports. E Where's the esports segment? Like Mario and Sonic. Esports. Okay. Story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. That is actually getting really creative. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Oh, crawl, no, they like, wait, no, was it? No, so yeah, they're fine. There's another company that liked to copy strike my my videos. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test. Okay. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. Okay. We're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. Okay. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Okay. By customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. Mm. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action. Okay. Ooh. Ah, uh, it's ours. Star Wars classic so fun. What? No, 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 no. Agent of the New Republic is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. What? The fuck? How? Courtesy of Aspire, the full single player experience of Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch for okay. twenty-four. We've got new details on some upcoming games. You uh, give me Witcher Free. Oh yes! Ultimate Assassin Hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming to okay. Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed. Wow. Okay. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your slayer on the go or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll have uh -huh. your skills. And customize hundreds of gear options and uh -huh. other slayers to take down boss side. Uh -huh. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, play more on the horizon. Okay, open your calendar. More games are on the way. Jesus. 
The, the, the Switch has so many games! It has too many! What? Oh, now I'm gonna do some farming. I got a brand new combine harvester. I'll give you the key. NBA 2K shit. Call of Cthulhu. Oh, that actually sounds like fun. The Outer Worlds. Okay. That looks interesting. De DMC2. Well. Yeah, you really need to get it down to Vampire. Vampire? Is that, is that, is that misspelled or not? I'm dyslexic, don't bully me. How's everything going? Good! Oh! I was not expecting to see this! Hello there, Nintendo Direct viewers! I'm Tom Nook! You've uh, no doubt heard about the uh, Desert Island and Getaway Package my uh, company Nook Inc. will offer, hmm? Well, I prepared a fun little uh, promotional video just for you. It's called, Welcome to Island Life. Oh, it's uh, starting, it's starting! Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove of Deserted Island Life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Uh -huh. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Okay. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Okay. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted Ooh. items. Ooh. Including recipes for crafting tools and Ooh. Food. Let's start by crafting an axe. It's Let's Animal Crossing uh, Survival Island. Like branches. Huh. And stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. Okay. And with those, you can craft more items. Okay. Feel free to place furniture inside. Or outside. Oh, that is the best. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. Oh. You How did it take this long to get that feature? Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency yeah. bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the okay. Nook Village program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. Okay. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. That me's face is weird. Or villager's face. I think that's a me. I don't know, it looks weird. Them to make a garland. Hmm. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. Oh wow, that's that's cool. <laughs> a vaulting hmm. hole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. Okay, that is cool. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. 
Wow, wow. Okay, I think we have actually seen that before. But it's, it's still just makes me just like, what? Okay, that is quite clever. Nice. Oh. Types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Yeah. Up to four players at a time on one system. Yeah. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, yeah. you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not yeah. a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today it, it is really just the beginning. Yeah, this has actually made me want to buy it now. Where I was in the t where I was really indifferent to it before. So you can bait fish now. So, how did it look? There's still a bit surprisingly more good. Launches, so please stay tuned. All right. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Okay. Yeah, sure. Then you can do a secret announcement. Surprise announcement. Is it uh, the Zelda Breath of the Wild 2? No, maybe. Then no, it doesn't look particularly Zelda. No, this isn't Zelda. It's, it's something else. Qu uh, Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Okay. Twenty twenty. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles. Which yeah. originally released in 2012 on the Wii system is destined to be born on huh. Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles. It's a Wii port. The game is planned yeah, I don't know about Xenoblades. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. We'll begin shortly. <laughs> huh, I would have thought like a secret announcement. Oh, here we go. Come on, Sakurai! 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 Hello everyone, I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Game Show. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Please do, I will be studying this character immensely. You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero Showcase. But we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. What? We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Oh, Sakurai, go to sleep! Go the fuck to sleep! I was playing by myself using two controllers like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shields. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away yeah. or do moves so my attacks would connect. Yeah. Today I have my controller set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. 
Ah. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this. Ah. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie. Characters ah. acting as one. All right, let's get started. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 yeah. back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, hmm. Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tui, and then Nuts and Bolts. Were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never yeah. And then there's Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. As some of you may know, the Banjo-Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Yes. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Yeah. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. series. Okay. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me. If you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. Uh. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please. <gasps> what? On Xbox. He's a bad man! I'm surprised it did I'm surprised it did like that's fine. Wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. You can even hear the people in the background. Yeah. Yeah, something can see. Yeah, but you could even hear the people in the background laughing. Like, there's no way they could have gone that past Nintendo. Banjo and Kazooie joined the battle. Okay. Jinjo's in the background. That's cool. Their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flat flip. Okay. Their neutral attack was called claw swipe. Yeah. This ability looks similar to this in the original game. Yep. We built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of yeah. the game. Their flurry attack is a red attack. Oh. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong yeah. uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat barge. Yeah, that sounds about right. Their up smash is build build. It's a little different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a yeah. consecutive attack. I thought that would have been a down B. Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was <laughs> curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. <laughs> I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is. Yeah. So this basically means bird bash. Which yeah. Which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air is wing rat. Okay, that's cool. I think that's something Kazooie did on the road. Air red attack rat, which hits three times. Oh. Their down air is beak buster, which they use to down stab as they drive. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Regal Blaster. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo-Tooie where the screen mm. breaks at the end. Yeah. 
That was fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. That that could be punishable. Wonder when you only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. <sighs> and since it's likely to trump counter attacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. Yeah. It does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open. Oh, in addition, you can be grabbed during this move. Oh, come on! At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action okay, that's cool. this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move yeah. utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with a shock spring pad. It can be used to recover. A bit like Sonic. Too. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in mid-air. Oh. Meaning you can jump twice in a row. So if you're falling, you can use it like this. Jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. That is cool. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Okay. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, rear egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. Okay. It's a grenade. So that's only down B. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. I guess that's a good way to limit it. Its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. Hmm. After a certain time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Yeah. I think mean, that's going to be its main use, just like pooping it out, picking it up, and then throwing it at someone. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly or it will explode while you're still holding it. Okay. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Gingernator. The Mighty Gingernator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. Games, yeah. This move will send your opponents flying. Spiral Mountain. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the West it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. Hmm. A rotation icon will appear. Oh, bye bye Mario. Ah, oh, here it comes. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Bros. series. It's pretty mm. unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain yeah. will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. Yeah. I love how you can see like all the empty honeycombs in the background as well. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge and you see one by Jumbo and Bottles. Yeah. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. Okay. Let's see them in action. Come on, baby! This time I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too, mm. so I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. 
looks like I'm going to get beaten out pretty bad if I just stand around. So I'll play carefully. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide... I would not want to go up against um, Sakurai. He, he is just too good at this game. You can go up against up the go across the bridge. So I wonder how far a bridge across the bridge you can go. Oh. Bye bye, DK. And dead. Uh, maybe no, not dead. Oh wait, yeah, dead. Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh, my nostalgia. Cameos. Hi, Gwenty. Gwentilda, Gwenty. Bruntilda. Yeah, I remember those two. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. Bottles. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. Yeah. But then we resurrect him. Mumbo Jumbo! Oh, there she is. Oh. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen her since the first game. Oh. Oh yeah. Maybe she's not going home. And here come the gingos. Gingos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty ginger nator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say there are also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy buzz bombs. Buzz bombs. But since they can float around, yeah. they're lucky enough to have made the cut to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah. This is what they look like close up. <laughs> it's basically a dragonfly. Oh, they were annoying. We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Song collection. Next, let's talk to you. Gobi's Valley. Yeah. Yeah. 
music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhoff. The best composer. Yep. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. <laughs> and here's the list of tracks this time. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Woo fuck fuck! They put woo fuck fuck in! <laughs> We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. Woo fuck fuck. Okay. So. Here it is. Uh, oh. Bye bye. And so, home run contest makes its return. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous home run contests, so please enjoy. Yeah. This time, I do know a lot of people like that. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tome Expressway. <laughs> you can actually play with a second player. Yeah, that's cool. Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. Uh. I hope you play this with your friends. I don't have any. Uh, me fighter costumes. Oh, Banjo Kazooie beat me fighters. Oh. If you find a new fighter that you like to look at, you can freely download them and set the special. That is cool. However, this will not be applied to new fighters created before the software update. Oh. And only applies to new fighters created after the update. Okay. You re-upload your new fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of new fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Yes, costumes! Take a look. Give me all those Banjo Kazooie costumes. Come on. Round three! Oh! What? Mr. What? Why no Banjo Kazooie? What? Why is that? I I don't know what that was. Mega Man. Okay, so we're getting a bun good mix. Pr uh, Proto Man. Okay. Mega Man X. Is it going to be X? Yeah. Uh, no zero. Hmm. That's cool. Pokemons. Team Rocket! Ha ha ha! Sans! Sans! What? What? 
Da 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 na na. I have gone insane. Amoeba? Oh, squid, squid! Ivy saw. I can't do an ivy saw. Snake. Oh, squid is adorable. As part of Challenge Pack 4, Terry Bogard joins the battle, as we know. Yeah, you are insane. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. <laughs> That's because he keeps on pushing it away. Wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. Stop! Just As stop and think, think about your health. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game world that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. <laughs> no. I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. Not about destroying the uh, sanity of several uh, game developers. Developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. What? 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 What was half of what? Uh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love that. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and ring a ding that notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.